there are multiple methods of installing and downloading Arista or Untangle. If we search for Arista Untangle download, if you want to get started for the newer version, you have to go to ETM dashboard. The moment you click on ETM dashboard, it will show you launchpad.arista.com. You can directly open launchpad.arista.com. It will bring you over here. You can create the account. I have been using it for a long time. So my account is here. So what we are going to do here, the moment you log in, you will simply go to download section here and you can see here next generation firewall 17.20 is available, which is the latest version. I will be going with the ISO installer with the graphical mode, download this. The moment you download, of course, you can write this to USB or you can write this to your CD or you can upload this to your virtual environment. I'll be using Proxmox. You can, of course, use any of the virtual environments and even you can download directly Untangle OVA file. NG firewall, if you go here, you can see here, this is the ISO image and this is the OVA file. For OVA download, I have already mentioned how you can download and how you can import and how you can get started. But in this particular installation, in this particular guide, we will be going step-by-step -step installation. Of course, you can use any other platform, but we will be using Proxmox for this particular tutorial. So we'll upload the ISO image, which we have downloaded here. You can see Untangle Next Generation Firewall 17.20 is available. Let me simply upload this. All right, so ISO image is uploaded. You can see here Untangle Firewall 919 MB is available. I will be creating a new virtual machine, which will be working as a firewall within the Proxmox virtual environment. Of course, this can be a virtual firewall, a virtual appliance, and you can protect your home network also, and you can use this internally for your Proxmox virtual environment as well. I will show you first of all the network. In my PSB1, I will be creating this, and in PSB1, let me show you the network. I have three physical network interface cards here. One is connected to VMBR0, which is my normal network where physical network is also connected and most of the virtual machines are also connected. Another is Ceph Bridge, which is also connected to one of the physical networks for the Ceph storage. And third one is here, uh, which is this particular device. This is the physical network interface card and this is right now connected to VMBR2. So VMBR2 will work as an external network and this is connected to the WAN gateway and this is connected to the uh, ISP service provider. So this will become my external network. And then I'll be using VXLAN for my internal network. We need at least one external, which is WAN interface, and then one internal that we will be deciding which one we are going to go with. I will be simply going here to data center. I'll create a new virtual machine in the PSB1 and its name will be Untangle NGFW. Uh, there is already one, but I will be creating this 128, 2025. I will give it a new name. Go next. OS, we will be choosing from the local machine and local I have already ended NGFW. Uh, ISO image, click next. System, we will be using default here. Word IO SCSI single, this is fine. Disk, uh, we don't need much storage for this, but 32 GB will be fine. The reason is because you might need to have the uh, reports and all of that. So it's fine. Uh, format, I'll choose default. It's QEMU, QCO, W2. You can also go with a VMware disk image, but this is Proxmox, so QEMU will be fine. Click next. CPU, I will be using two core CPU with this and RAM will be 4096 or 4 GB. This is the recommended RAM for Untangle. And here bridge, I will be using VMBR2, which will be my external. And then I'll show you, we will add one more into it also. And finish here, but we will not start it right now. So let it come up here. It's 128 Untangle firewall. I will go back again to hardware and I will add another network device, which will be uh, VXLAN, which will be my, my internal and add. Now I have two network interface cards. One is external, which is net zero. It is WAN and net one is LAN. We will add more later uh, to make sure that we are able to connect to the uh, physical network also and other networks also. But for the time being, we will go with one WAN and one LAN and that LAN will be my VXLAN internally for the Proxmox virtual environment. 
I will simply start this now and the moment I start, it will start running the installation wizard and we will now start graphical install for Arista. Arista is Untangle Next Generation Firewall graphical install. Earlier it was known as Untangle, now its name is Arista. Installation is going to complete now, so it is doing the bootloader and finishing the installation. So we will just wait for this and once it is installed then it will reboot and then we'll move to next step. All right, so installation is completed now. Untangle AMD. Here you go. So here automatically it will start the wizard. If I minimize this, you can see here, uh, this is exactly the way Untangle was earlier working, Arista next generation firewall. And in terminal, you will be able to run the terminal and do the terminal commands here. And in launch, of course, it, you will be able to see the web user interface. So uh, if it is connected to internet, it will automatically start uh, opening the ETM dashboard. You will need to have the user ID and password. Of course, I have already mentioned how you can get started where we have already downloaded it, uh, if you remember, and it is going to add this UID of the device automatically. So you will simply follow this and uh, just log in with your account and provide the password. Add it, enter the admin password. Installation type will be, I will use non-profit because I'm using it at my home and plus four time zone and assign label to your appliance. I will say a sync bricks home lab and Arista MJet. So here I'll be using syncbricks.com and Muscat will be the location which is automatically detected and uh, subscription of course I have not added any subscription uh, I will be going with the free appliance here and add so it is loading the remote access now which will help me to start configuring of course now you will be able to access this I will just go to my Vista launchpad I can access this of course from anywhere with the user ID and password provided. So I can show you here that this is arista-amjad.syncbricks.com and I'm able to access my appliance now uh, where I can update the software. I can do various operations here. I can do remote access, update the software, reboot, set the label and uh, set the license and all of that. Here you can see this is the information of this. Uh, for last 30 seconds, this is the uptime. I will just refresh the, uh, the dashboard so that I can see it. So here you can see the details, uptime, CPU count, architecture, host count, how many hosts are connected to this right now. Of course, nothing is connected. Then here you have the uh, memory, hard disk total right now, 24 GB is available. And these are all the functionalities which are available. And some of the licenses is of course paid and some of the licenses are free. So what we can do here, of course, remote access, I'll show you, but uh, we can click on update software. So it will show you when you want to run the schedule for the update. So I want to update every Friday night, uh, set the schedule. It will update on every Friday. And at the same time, if I click on update and update now, it will start running the update. So you can see here, no updates are available. It means that the appliance is up to date. I will do remote access so that I can start uh, configuring this device now. I can start creating the network, creating the firewall, rules and all of that. So I'll show you that how we can start using Arista, how we can start configuring Arista. This is Untangle. It is similar to what we have been doing earlier. What we will co configure, how we'll configure it, I'll show you that in next video.